Hey y'all, how y'all doing? I hope y'all doing swell, great, and well. But today I'm coming to y'all with a story time. I wanted to tell y'all how I got this bruise right here in the middle of my face. I'm sorry, I just got all, all close like that and disgusting. It all happened. I feel like it was fourth grade, fourth grade summer. I think it was fourth grade. It was fourth grade. I went to this program called City Star, and we had it in the summertime, and we had it after school. So, after school, we go there, we would do our homework, then we probably do a couple activities, and then our parents would pick us up. But it was at my school, like my elementary school. So, in the summertime, it would be a program, but it would still be at my school sometimes, and it would be at the official site some days. But this day, we was at my school, my lovely elementary school. At City Star, I was done my work. And when I was younger, I was really like, if I wasn't around my friends, it wasn't no talking. It wasn't no, what's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up, homies? Like, what's up? How y'all doing? Like, I really love what you got. Oh, my gosh. I love your shirt. Oh, my gosh. I'm really loving what you're doing with your hair today. It wasn't none of that. No, it was just a... I was really quiet. I was really awkward. I was an awkward child. Eventually, a flower has to bloom and expose itself to the life that is here. Like, I was just like, hey, you guys, like, I'm here. Hi. So, I was really awkward. So, I didn't really talk to nobody. And my friends wasn't at the program. So, obviously, I didn't talk to nobody. So, I decided to go in the gym. When you're walking out in my old school gym, you walk in and it's the big play area right there. And then to the left, basically the back of the gym, is where the cubby's at and where the gym equipment is. So, I toot my little ass to the back of the gym, back of the gym, and I go get me a basketball Ain't nobody was hooping around here. Ain't nobody was hooping out here. But you know, go ahead to do something. I'm shooting around. Like, I live, I love, what I used to do, I used to love doing things that I wish I could do. But if somebody was in a room, I would not do it. Like, yeah, I just, I just was that type of child. But you know, it's okay. Because I'm good now. Allergies, man. Tell me if you got them allergies, man. Anyway, so I'm shooting around. Somebody like actually come in the gym, but I think they left back out. So I thought I was done playing with the ball. What a smart thing! What a smart thing would have been would to put the ball back where I got it from instead of leaving it out on the open ground. That would have been the smart thing to do, but. Little fourth grade slow Sherry didn't think about that. So I'm dribbling. I'm bored dribbling by myself. So I started twirling around. When I mean twirling around, I mean twirling around. Like, you know, just turning. With my fat round ass turning. Fucking figure skater. Like, I was just turning. And I trip over the basketball. Yeah, I'm very clumsy. But I trip over the basketball. And what was right in front of me, like, I was facing a door. But the door never opened. You can never open that door. But I was facing the door window. And what was there was a metal trash can. The metal trash cans that be in elementary school is hard as fuck. Like, they, they might be kind of easy to pick up. But they're hard. They're tough. They give a good thump and I fell boop hit my head right on it and I think before I fell I kind of hit the door it was, a, it was a wooden door so I think something scratched me and then me just hitting the trash can this made everything so much better <sighs> but yeah after that happens I'm, I'm knocked out <laughs> I knocked out and when I woke up I actually was laying on the ground 
and blood was I feel like I was knocked out for like five minutes. Like where the, nobody didn't hear that big tom nobody didn't hear that big bloom. Bloom! Nobody didn't hear that. Like how can you not hear that? So I finally wake up and I have all this blood on my clothes, blood on my hands. I go like this. Like my face doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt no more. But if somebody was to go like this, it would it, you know it hurts. But my face, my head doesn't hurt anymore. So, my favorite custodian, I forgot her name, but she was so nice. She loved me. She loved me. She saw me. She said, oh my gosh, what happened? I said, mm, what did you do? And she walked me to the uh, the supervisor that's watching us from City Star. And he just like, whoa, like, what happened? Like, uh, I was like, I don't know. I was just telling around and I fell. And, yeah. <laughs> Like, like I don't know what happened. Like it happened so quick. I didn't, mm. what had to be done was the lady had some clothes in the back. Like I don't know, or clothes from somewhere, man. I don't know, but I had to change out of that bloody clothes. And she told me to put it on. And she they had a washing machine. They had a washing machine at school because she washed my clothes and gave it back. They had washing machines at school. Man, I don't know. I don't care. But some way, somehow, that lady fixed my clothes. And I was good. I was back in my clothes. I was in. <sighs> and they was just like, we got to call your parents. I'm like, no, can I just put a band-aid on it? And so one of my, it was an adult that I favored there. And I could talk to her. Like, not talk to her like, yeah, man, I know my feet stink. Or, yeah, I'm hungry. Like, I even though I just ate, can I have another snack? It wasn't like that. She was like a person that... If she was around, she would let me be around her because she know that I don't be around nobody. So, she was standing at a, like an emergency exit. No, I don't think it's an emergency exit, but it's another way to exit the school on the side of the school. And we were sitting there, and they had called an ambulance or whatever. Because it was like, you gotta go to the hospital. That's That cut is too deep. I'm like, no. Can we just put a band-aid on it? She was like, no, sure. You're gonna have to get stitches. I said stitches. What? 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 Like, I get stitches and I bitch didn't even snitch. Like, what's going on? So, she just like, no, the cut is too deep. You can see, like, your meat, like, in your head. Like, you can see it. I'm just like, no, I don't want to get stitches. I don't want to get stitches. I don't want to get stitches. And she's like, you really got to go. Like, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you. It's going to be fine. So, I get there. And my dad get there, and then the lady left. And my dad was mad at me. Yeah, he was mad at me because I ended up in the hospital. But I'm just like, you mad at me, and you don't over here broke up and hurt up and ugh. So he don't like hospitals. He don't like knowing that I'm in a hospital and he has to go. But I mean, if something happened to me, coincidentally, then I don't know what to tell you, pop some hair. I got there at 12.30. I did not leave the hospital until 7.30. I was laying there on, on the bed. The beds that they have that you can roll. On a bed in a hallway for 7 hours. They gave me one little cup of juice. A bitch was more parched than that. She was hungry. They're just like, you can't eat till you get your, uh, your stitches. I'm like... So, where the doctor at? Like, hello. Ooh. And they just like, yeah, you can't eat nothing. But they gave me just juice. And then I fell asleep. I kept falling asleep, waking up. Falling asleep, waking up. Because I was there for seven hours and nobody was helping me. Finally, by like six o'clock, the lady came, woke me up, and she told me who she was. She's like, yeah, I'm going to give you your stitches. And I'm like, out here in the open, like, people walking by looking at me like, what's going on? I was, just, I was in the hallway just like, wow, like, this is where they do, like, like open heart surgery too? Like, this, I mean, even though open heart surgery is different from, like, just stitches right here. I'm just saying, like, you're you're doing stitches outside in the hallway. Like, like that's what y'all do? I think y'all should stop that. She was just like, since the, since the uh, cut is not so deep, she was like, I'm not going to give you heavy-duty stitches. This is just temporary stitches that you have to keep in your head for I don't know I think she said four weeks 
and when she was putting them in, they was tickling. <laughs> they was tickling. She was like, how'd that feel? I was like, that tickle didn't hurt. My dad was mad that he had to sit there and look at that, but I'm just like, I don't care. Like, give me my stitches so I can leave. And after she was done, she was like, yeah, she, it was a big tape on my face, like from here to here. And I'm just like, wow. She's like, you can't go swimming. You can't do this. You can't do that. I'm like, like, I can't go swimming and just, you know, keep my head above water. She was like, no, I'm sorry. Because you don't know, somebody might slash you. The chlorine probably is not going to help the stitches. It's going to make your cut hurt. It might make it bad. I'm just like, chill. I feel like that was a Wednesday. Friday come. Friday was the big day. Friday was swimming day. It's some place in Abington, like a, like a high school with a pool. And we used to go swimming, like, every other Friday. And... And I'm just sitting by the pool, and I'm looking at my supervisor. He just like, no, she, you can't get in. I'm sorry. And I'm just like, look at all the little children pitter pattering in the in the pool, pitter pattering in the pool. And I'm just over here looking all sad and glum and drowsy. Like, I want to get in the pool too. Like, fuck. In the pool. And ever since I had the way that this big white stitch across my face, you know what, bitch was wearing glasses everywhere. I don't care where I was. I had on sunglasses. I mean, even though it didn't, it just covered up this much. I don't care. It, it kind of was a distraction from that thing in the middle of my face. Yeah. That's how that happened. That's how I got this in the middle of my face. But I would forget that it's there. And I remember I, get in, I got in middle school and people, it was very like out more in middle school. And they would be like, they would be, I'll be laughing and they'd be like, What's that in the middle of your face? And I'll be like, oh, this is, uh, this is what happened. And I would tell them, they started laughing because I fell on a trash can. I don't care. I tripped. I'm human. People make mistakes. That's my little story time I have for y'all. But I hope you have a good day, night, evening, evening. Yeah, so I will see y'all in the next video, and bye y'all.